When you're talking about steak tacos, the first question that everybody wants to have answered is what's the perfect cut to use for your steak tacos? Well, of course, skirt steak comes to mind, but it's certainly not the only cut that you can use. In fact, I've got six different cuts in front of me, all of which would make really good steak tacos. Well, let's start with the skirt steak since that's so popular. What a lot of people don't know is that there are two skirt steaks on each side of the carcass. One that they call the inner skirt steak, which is thicker and well, a little tougher. And then one that they call the outer skirt steak that's thinner and tenderer. Flank steak, another very popular choice for making steak tacos. We've got two over here, tri-tip and sirloin tip, both that come from the sirloin section of the animal. And then we've got two lesser known cuts. We've got the flat iron and the top blade, both of which come from the chuck. Now, when it comes to marinades in Mexico, they tend to stay fairly simple and fairly light and not long time marinades. So I'm gonna make one that's going to combine some limes with a little bit of Worcestershire and Mexican oregano, a little salt and pepper, very simple. To make the marinade, start by juicing two limes. Then peel and chop four roasted garlic cloves. Add black pepper, salt, and Mexican oregano. Now, the last ingredient that's gonna go in here is Worcestershire sauce. Now, in Baja, California, where carne asada tacos reign supreme. A lot of the cooks use soy sauce, so you could feel free to follow their lead. I think it has such a distinctive flavor that I like to replace it with Worcestershire sauce or what almost every Mexican kitchen has, which is jugo magi. I'm gonna choose the skirt steaks to marinate the flank steak, and then I think I'll use the top blade and the flat iron as well. Take our light marinade, drizzle that over the top, make sure that they're coated nicely both sides, and let them sit for about 20 or 30 minutes. That's all this is going to need. This isn't a marinade for tenderizing. This is a marinade for flavoring. Now, my guess is that a lot of you cook on gas grills, but you're a little frustrated because you'd like to get some of that flavor of wood grilling into your food. So what do you do? Well, my recommendation is, well, you could buy these wood chunks like that, or maybe even collect fallen branches in the yard and then break them into smaller pieces that you could lay directly over your gas flame. Now, this particular grill has a drawer that's right above those gas burners, and I could just throw these little branch pieces and some of the large chunks in there. Right away, those will ignite and they'll start to smell like a wood fire. Now, another alternative, which might appeal to some of you, is to buy the little wood chips and put them into a little smoker box. These things are very inexpensive. And then just lay that directly over the gas flames. It'll ignite just right away. And I think that'll give you what you're looking for. I can smell the fire starting to catch right now, so I think I'm just about ready to grill. You know what makes these so good? is that charred grilled flavor that you get in the exterior of the jalapeno. So you cut the stem of each one off and then just scrape out the seed pod and the seeds. You don't have to be too meticulous. This is a pretty rustic dish. And then cut the jalapeno into about quarter inch pieces there. Then they're ready to dress with lime and salt.
Welcome everybody. Cheers. 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 Everybody ready for some steak tacos? Yeah. It's it's called. How brave are you? Group. <laughs> this one goes to you. We have all different kinds of condiments to go on it. <laughs> but you know, really, the coolest thing about going to a taqueria is that every bite you can kind of customize, and no matter how simple the food is, you can always put on salsas, and well, of course, you can always squeeze on limes and the. Onions and cilantro are an ever-present part of building good tacos, I think, in Mexico. Yeah. What's fun about sharing it with a lot of people? Everybody gets their own special bite. <laughs> <laughs>